Use the definitions of shine x and cosh x to show that shine squared x is equal to half of cosh 2x minus 1. Well, it says to use the definitions, so let me write the definitions down. Shine x is equal to e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. And cosh x is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. Okay, so now I just want to check I've got this right. I can never remember exactly which one is which, which one has the minus in the middle without checking. Shine of 0 is the same as sine of 0. So uh, e to the 0 minus e to the minus 0 over 2 is 1 minus 1 over 2, which is 0. So shine of 0 is 0 as it should be. I have got them round the right way. Excellent. Well, I just need to show that shine squared x is equal to half of cosh 2x minus 1. So I should just write down what shine squared x is and see what I can do from there. Shine squared x would be shine x squared, if it works the same way as sine squared. And that would be e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 squared which would be e to the x minus e to the minus x squared over 4, which would be e to the x squared minus 2 e to the x e to the minus x plus e to the minus x squared over 4. Okay, so e to the x squared, when you do a power of a power, you multiply the powers together, so we get e to the 2x minus 2, e to the x times e to the minus x. When you multiply powers, you add them together, so x minus x would be 0, and that would be e to the 0, which is 1, plus e to the minus 2x over 4. Oh, I think we're almost there, so that would be equal to e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x on 4 minus 2 on 4 which would be e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x on 4 minus a half and I'm supposed to get a half out the front so let me do that now a half of e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x over 2. So the half 2 on the bottom times with the 2 on the bottom to get a 4. Yep, minus 1. And e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x on 2 is exactly what I'd get if I put 2x into the formula for cosh. So that would be a half of cosh 2x minus 1. And that's the end of the problem.